Hi guys, it's still Jen here, and today I want to tell you about a little hop experiment I'm doing. Now, if you remember from our group brew or from my uh, Cooper's concoctor, I simply boiled hops in water and added it to the wort. So the experiment that I came up with is what if I wanted to taste a whole lot of different hop varieties without making a whole batch? Well, it seems to me I could use the same methodology of boiling hops at for taste and aroma, making a clean slate beer, and then I would try splashing a little bit of this hop water into my brew so that I could smell Basically, and taste. a hop that is boiled from the 60 minute mark for a full 60 minutes, that only imparts bittering to the beer. A hop that is boiled at 20, 15 minutes before the end of the boil is going to impart a flavoring hop taste. It's going, you're going to taste the flavor of the hops. And a hop that is boiled from five minutes down to the end of the boil or even dry hopped is going to impart its aroma to the beer. So let's see how I made these two hop water <laughs> experiments. So let's see what I'm going to do with this. Take your clean beer that's not got much hops in it and put it in a glass. So I'm going to put some of this in this glass. And again, this is the Cooper's Wheat Beer, which only has a little bit of Pride of Ringwood for bittering. That's the only hop it has. And that's the key to me to which beer I'd use to do this testing with. This is going to be my control sample. Okay. So here I have Cascade hop water. This was the one ounce of hops, half of it boiled at 15 minutes and half of it boiled put in at the five minute mark. So I'm going to splash some of this in here. Now this is Cascades. Now let's put a little bit of the Nelson Savant in this one. This is the Nelson Savant that was in the video. Ooh, and this has been chilled overnight. Ooh, that's going to be way too much. You see, the idea here is I just want to see what does it smell like and what does it taste like. That's why I need a nice flat base beer. So this, so this one is Cascades, and it's used in stuff like Sierra Nevada Pale Ale or uh, Dogfish Head 90 Minute IPA, um, and it's used in um, let's see, Harpoon Harpoon IPA also used in Harpoon IPA. Let's see what it smells like. I get some of that floral. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh yeah, baby. There's that Cascade floral. Excellent. Perfect. Oh, this is great. Oh my. 
that's that's very good the floral and mostly I'm just tasting the floral it's just great oh man let's sip our control flat I mean not flat but uh, clean slate beer definitely just a clean slate this is great mm. now let's try the Nelson Savant Ooh. I'm going to say citrusy, but it's a very unique fragrance. This is like nothing I've smelled before. I'm, this is my first time tasting and smelling Nelson Savant. I've never had it before. That's why I wanted to do this experiment uh, on Nelson Savant because I'm really curious to use it in a brew. But why brew a whole five gallons with a specific hop if you don't know what it tastes like and smells like? It's a very, very, very pleasant aroma. It tastes like the fragrance that you get if you were walking through a big patch of blueberries or some kind of fresh berries it's uh, or often that not a strong taste like you would if you were walking through a tomato patch but there's some kind of um, like walking through some kind of berries or fruit It's also got a little bit of that mystery taste that Cascades has. I wonder how it burps. Mm. But the, the, the thing is, and what I'm trying to show you is that I now know, probably not specifically, I'm not going to say this is 100% accurate, but I got a pretty good idea now what Nelson Savant would taste like in a beer. And I, I already was familiar with Cascades, that's why I did, used Cascades for my first experiment. So if this smelled and tasted like Cascades, I knew I was, uh, this would work. At least for me. I'm just saying it works for me. I'm not saying this would be something everybody would want to do. I love Cascades. So the thing about this, and, and where I've not gone with it yet, but I'm suspecting it will work. I'm suspecting this would work for any non-fermentable. Anybody know? If any non-fermentable in a beer, like some of the specialty grains that only imparts color or some taste but it's non-fermentable, or even uh, different other additives, chocolate or coffee or something, that absolutely does not, does not add to the fermentation. I wonder if you could do a, a brew water on them and experiment and then just get a very clean beer or make a very clean beer you'd have to make it I mean this wheat would be clean but uh, I like this is like an, what I call an American wheat beer which is very um, um, straightforward very plain so there you have it hop water where you can smell and taste any hop you want and all it costs you is the hops and your time to make it and then you've got all this hop water to splash in whatever beer you want. So, okay guys, till next time, ladies and gents, take care. See you on the flip side. This is Steel Jan out. Bye-bye.